Well, tonight we continue to press police and prosecutors in the case of Jose Batista. He's the guy who was locked up in jail for seven days for a crime it appears he didn't have anything to do with. News 6's Jerry Askin is live from the Orange County Jail tonight. Jerry, you just came from South Florida to speak with officials. What did they tell you? Yes, we're back in Orange County now, but we did drive to Miami working to get answers. Prosecutors in Miami-Dade County say they're making this case priority and they're working to see uh, who may have dropped the ball. Now, Jose Batista spent seven days behind bars here in Orange County. Um, no income, no time with his family, and seven days, he says, were wasted. There's no question make no mistake, the system failed Jose Bautista. That's an upset Michael Glasser. He's the attorney for Jose Bautista, and he's mad his client spent seven days behind bars for a no-show warrant following an aggravated battery arrest in Miami Beach more than 20 years ago, a crime even prosecutors now say Jose didn't likely do. We have just an important responsibility to protect the innocent that we do to convict the guilty. He said he's working to find out who failed Batista. And if they put a name to those failures, a lawsuit will follow. People cannot sit in custody for situations that they are not involved in. Jose is back on his feet now after we made hundreds of phone calls to get him results. But you've heard his story. First, he lost his freedom, then his job, and behind bars for what he says is someone else's crime. That's why they let me go, because was, it wasn't me. And I, I said it from the get-go, it wasn't me. How far did they have to go to confirm what somebody else was supposed to have done properly? FDLE told News 6 it appears the wrong FBI number was put on the arrest warrant entered in Miami for Marco Jose Batista. We found this prior mugshot for him on the Department of Corrections website. He shares a similar name and birthday as Jose Batista, arrested in Orange County. Who dropped the ball here? Trying to figure out, were fingerprints taken? If so, where are they? So that we have to figure that out, and if we can find this victim. The Miami-Dade state attorney told me she and her office are working double time to try and resolve what happened. To Jose, I would say just a little patience. If this has been wrong, if you've been wrong by the system, then we apologize in advance. And we are going to keep pressing for results on this story. We're asking FDL Lee and deputies here in both Orange County and Miami-Dade County what may have went wrong. For now, we're live in Orange County at the jail. Jerry Askin, News 6.